So guys, see you hope we're all doing good. Now, <laughs> a couple of years ago, uh, there was this whole thing called COVID the 19th. It happened in 2020, which was the year I was meant to write my IGCSE. We didn't end up writing it, as you probably already know, but I thought it would be quite cool to attempt to write it <laughs> because, you know, obviously the papers are online now. I just thought, you know what, it'll be quite cool to look and see how I do <laughs> with them. Now, obviously, I did the IB. Um, I just finished the IB a couple of weeks ago. So, in some certain subjects, the intrigue just isn't there. For example, I did history higher level. And I did history at GCSE. I'm pretty sure I could smash a history at GCSE paper, I think. I'm pretty certain. Um, well, like math, for example. I did slaps. Uh, but even back then, math at GCSE was not a big deal. So I don't think it will be an issue now. That being said, something like ad math. <laughs> I did ad math. And I used to struggle so much with ad math. Um, I also used to do physics at GCSE, and I used to struggle with physics at GCSE so much that I think it would be quite interesting to see like how I match up against it now. I think physics especially is quite interesting because I did physics IB, standard level, and obviously I had to work, I struggled with it as well, but I had to work really, really hard to get good at it. I don't know about good, I never quite became good, <laughs> but I worked hard at it. <laughs> So I think it will be quite interesting to see how I match up against physics IGCSE now. I guess we'll see. And then other things, of course, which I just haven't done in a very long time. Um, I haven't done geography since I did IGCSE since 2020. So yeah, just th things like that would be quite interesting. We'll we'll get a we'll get a look, shall we? And we'll see. But before we carry on, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, please turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a new video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and let's get into it. Goodness gracious. Right, so here we are. Um, oh, that's the thing, I don't even remember the codes, man. <laughs> like, what do they want from me? I think it might be quite cool to start with like our math. <laughs> oh, flashbacks. <laughs> Flashbacks, bro. Diagram shows the graph of a cubic. <laughs> Wait. See, this is the issue. I'm not just battling uh, trying to remember things from two years ago. As of now, I also haven't done any math <laughs> since I walked out of my IV bath exam. <laughs> so... So this is a this is a rude awakening. No 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 no. This actually isn't that bad. I, I like I like I know how to do this. I, I'm just blanking for some odd reason. You know what? I'm gonna move on. Write down the period of two cos x over three minus one. Okay, I know this. I know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I know this. This is the amplitude. I'm quite certain. And this. Or no, it's like 360 over B, yeah, 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 360 over B equals period, yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah, no, 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 even the, this was in slaps, this was in slaps, I remember this quite clearly, um, so, the period of this, if B is equal to X over 3, period, equals 360 over x over 3 I think something like that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at that I, I think it probably simplified that as well um I don't know man on the axis below sketch the graph of oh, goodness gracious bro I'm too tired with this man <laughs> nah it's bond this I'm too tired I'm just gonna goodness gracious man Wow. Wow. <laughs> Swiftly moving on <laughs> to physics. This is like a multiple choice, by the way. So, you would certainly hope that this won't go too badly, or else I'm all of a sudden way more worried about my IB physics grade. <laughs> One, a pendulum makes 50 complete swings in 2 minutes 40 seconds. What is the time period for one complete swing? Uh, 
Well, if it makes 50 complete swings in 2 minutes 40 seconds, that's just, uh, 2 minutes is 60 times 2, 120 seconds, 120 plus 40, oh, 120 plus 40 equals 160, um, and then divide that by 50, and you should get your answer, so 0 cancel 0, 16 over 5, there's my calculator. <laughs> 16 over 5, 3.2B. Easy start, easy start. <laughs> Students investigate the motion of a ball rolling down a slope. The diagram shows the speed V of the ball at different times. Uh, which statement describes the motion of the ball? A, acceleration is not constant. Um, well, if acceleration is a constant, that would mean it has to be increasing by the same interval every time. That it's... Yeah, every time, because the time, the intervals of time are equal of 0 0.2 seconds. So the velocity will have to be... Yeah, the velocity will have to be increasing at equal increments, I think, for the acceleration to be constant and I don't think it is because from here it increases by 2.8 from here I don't think that's equal to 2.8 <laughs> acceleration is negative no this is just no it will be going down if it's negative so that's that's no speed is decreasing well no velocity is constant no you have to say Oh, look at me go, bro. Look at me go! Which statement about acceleration is correct? It's related to the changing speed of an object. I believe so. Is the distance an object travels in one second? No. Is the force acting on... No. Is the force... No. Acceleration has nothing to do with force. So, yes. Hey. I'm smashing this, you know. Oh, dire. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> is this what I used to struggle with? <laughs> Which statement correctly? Describes the effects of placing a heavy load in a car. Huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna skip. Yep. Five. A mass of six kilograms rests on the surface of the planet. On this planet, g equals 20 newtons per kilogram. What's the weight of the object? Well, so weight equals mg. I know this one. <laughs> weight equals mg. Uh, so that would be. Six times. Six times twenty? Yeah, and then that'll be one twenty. Easy, easy dubs, easy dubs. Six. The mass of a measuring cylinder is one ninety grams. Four hundred centimeters cubed of liquid is put into the measuring cylinder. Total mass of the measuring cylinder and the liquid is four hundred sixty grams. Next question. <laughs> the diagram shows a wooden beam PQ with negligible weight, which is attached to a wall by a hinge at P and kept in horizontal position by a vertical rope attached at Q. The beam is 3 meters in length. Alright. Amount of weight 800 newtons walks along the beam from P to Q. What is the distance of the man from P when the tension of the rope at Q becomes equal to 500 newtons? I know this has to do with like moments or something. Um, and moments is equal to. Uh, 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 bro. Moment is. Uh, is it force times distance? I think it is. I think it is. Force times distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Distance from the. What's it called? From the foreground or something like that. Uh, and so, if the force is equal to his weight. Which is 800 newtons. Um, for the tension in the rope at Q to be equal to 500, um, so it has to be 800 times 800 times the distance equals 500. 
I'd say that for uh, distance equals 500 over 800, I'm tempted to say. I'm actually very intrigued to know whether I'm getting this right or not. This particular one. The other ones, I'm pretty confident. That's equal to 0 0.625. Oh, whoops. It's not even an option. <laughs> Not even an option. Bruh. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna end the video there. <laughs> Bro, what on earth is going on? Yeah, no, 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 no. Did it, did it, did it. Yo. <laughs> Let me know in the comments whether you guys would like to see a part two. But yeah, nah, anywho, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Please, like I said, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, turn on post notifications so you can notified when I upload a new video. Take it easy. See you.